Leonardo DiCaprio distanced himself from seeing Diddy Combs after he was pictured partying with him at one of his infamous white parties. The Hollywood star has reportedly not had anything to do with Diddy for years, according to a source. Diddy, 54, was arrested last week with charges of racketeering, sex trafficking, and trafficking to engage in prostitution all levied against him. An indictment in the Southern District of New York saw Diddy accused of forcing women into elaborate and produced sex performances described as freak-offs. Resurfaced pictures from 1998 show Leonardo laughing as he smokes while attending a party at the rapper's East Hampton home. Diddy once called the Oscar winner the number one person on his white party invitation list. However, a source told the Daily Mail that Leo has not been in contact with comms for years and that he never took part in the freak-offs and has nothing to do with Diddy's case. Leah was last seen with Diddy in a video where he was dancing beside the rapper at his 50th birthday party back in 2019. The source said, Leonardo DiCaprio has absolutely nothing to do with any of this. He attended a few of his parties back in the early 2000s, but literally everyone did. They were not freak-offs. They were big house parties. Leah was at the start of his career at the time and has moved way past his partying. He has nothing to do with any of that world, so for anyone to assume that he will get roped into this based on a few grainy photos that are more than 20 years old is ridiculous. They added, Leo is focused on his career and his relationship and is not at all thinking about Diddy's federal case, which he has nothing to do with. Combs, 54, was arrested on Monday in a Manhattan hotel, six months after federal authorities raided his homes in Los Angeles and Miami. Over the past year, he has been sued by several people who claim physical or sexual abuse, including his former girlfriend, R&B singer Cassie, who has accused Combs of rape and a decade-long pattern of abuse that began when she was 19 years old. Combs vehemently denied Cassie's allegations last year and has pleaded not guilty to federal sex trafficking and racketeering charges. The indictment details allegations dating to 2008 that he abused, coerced, and threatened women for years, to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. He is accused of enticing female victims and male sex workers into drugged up, sometimes days-long sexual performances dubbed freak-offs, with comms and victims allegedly receiving IV fluids to recover. His lawyer, Mark Agnifilo, said outside the New York courthouse on September 17, Mr. Combs is a fighter. He's going to fight this to the end. He's innocent. He came to New York to establish his innocence. He's not afraid he's not afraid of the charges.